A recent report from Elliot Friedman has revealed that Allmark was nearly traded to the Carolina Hurricanes in exchange for Martin Nietzsche at this trade deadline. So we're going to be talking about what happened there, why that didn't happen, as well as a quote from Don Sweeney saying that this team is going to be taking the next level this offseason. So we're going to be talking about that as well and what they need to do to make that come true. Uh, before we get into all of this stuff, obviously, we know that 81% of you guys watching right now are not subscribed. I know I'm saying it in every video, but we got to get that percentage down. If you guys want to see all of your Boston Bruins news, you're in the right spot. Hit the sub button. Join me here as we cover this extremely busy offseason, and we are going to see a lot of stuff coming, especially with what Don Sweeney just had to say. So let's get straight into it here. First, I want to cover uh, the close to trade that Nichas was almost a Boston Bruin at the trade deadline. So this came up from Elliot Freeman on 20 uh, or 32 Thoughts to Podcast. He goes on to say, I do believe the Bruins and Hurricanes talked about an Allmark deal at the deadline. I don't know if it involved Nichas, but I do think they talked about something. And I don't have the other screenshot, but there was another one from Elliot here in this podcast saying that it was... It was being uh, a further than just talked about. It was more to being a uh, a deal made up, almost some players included and whatnot. But ultimately, Linus Allmark did not waive his no trade clause as he did to what was reportedly the LA Kings at the deadline as well. So it was pretty evident that Linus Allmark wanted to stay with the Boston Bruins for this season, probably knowing that this was their best or his best chance to go to a, uh, a deeper playoff spot and uh, ultimately what could have been a Stanley Cup if things had just gone a few different ways. However, you know, we need to talk about what is going to happen with Allmark. And we know, I know I mentioned earlier in the last Nietzsche's video that we kind of, you know, just assumed or what we kind of thought would be a very good one. And the reports seem to be correct. And, you know, the thought process from the Bruins as well seemed to like Martin Nietzsche seemed to think that he'd be a perfect fit for this current Boston Bruins team. And, you know, it, it seems too good to be true. It really does seem... Like, th this makes too much sense, this whole deal, uh, especially from what Don Sweeney had to say. And that really just kind of makes this trade even more, in my mind, likely to happen or more discussion to happen in this offseason about it. And I'll pull up what he had to say here. Sweeney on the offseason says, we're going to be aggressive. I've got to find the players to uh, complement our group, which to me, that seems like a very long list of players that are available. Somebody spoke about in last video, but to me, Martin Nietzsche really is one of the top uh, on those lists. And, you know, just the, the age, his ability to play offense and defense, his size, uh, being a centerman, it really just does suit the Boston Bruins' needs at this very moment, especially going into next season. Having the ability to make this contract what they want, apart from trading for it, and even getting Rena Linus Allmark, a guy who I will be talking about a bit later on the contract side of things, is still going to be making $5 million next year, and adding that onto what Jeremy Swayman's new contract will be, that's going to be a lot of money to pay some goalies, and I'm not sure if the Boston Bruins want to spend that budget on two goalies. Now, if they can make that happen, absolutely, but Jeremy Swayman really proved this uh, these playoffs that he's going to be spending a lot of money. He's going to be asking for a good amount, and well-deservedly. You know, he played very well, and the price that we've seen at the end of the regular season to the end of the playoffs, it definitely grew. So we have to take that into consideration for this next contract. But I'm going to pull up Martin Nietzsche's stats once again, just to kind of show what type of player he is for those who don't know. Now, I know that these stats won't really show everything, but he's very good at the production that he's at currently. 243 in his career, uh, the points that is, and 362 uh, for the games. And just under... Uh, or just, sorry, just over half a point per game in the playoffs for someone who's only 25 years old. Since playing, uh, we're playing, you know, seven seasons with the Carolina Hurricanes, many of those in the playoffs, he's being on a very good pace and a very good experience level for being a 25-year-old. And we also have to not forget that he's also from Czechia, as well as David Pasternak, which has the great opportunity of putting together a nice Czechia line on this Boston Bruins team giving this line a bit more experience, a bit more time that they could work together in the offseason in Czechia, uh, on the international team and whatnot. And I'm sure these guys know each other, David Pasternak and Nietzsche, uh, at some point in the road. You know, that's definitely going to be something that we see mainly from countries like that in Europe, where there's not too many NHL players from them. They definitely know each other. But like I said about Don Sweeney talking about the goaltending, this is really going to be a big part of it as well. He said, in a perfect world, we'd love to keep the tandem because it's Damn good. 
but added the Bruins will need to weigh Swayman's new contract and whether or not it is feasible to carry two goalies making 11 to 14 million, depending on what Jeremy Swayman's new contract will be. So that's relating to what I was saying there a few moments ago. It really will depend on what happens with Allmark, depending on what happens with Swayman's contract. So there's a big line of things that have to happen to be able to keep both goalies. I certainly wouldn't count it out because we know this tandem has worked. We know it works throughout the regular season and especially in the playoffs too. Your guys aren't tired. The goalies aren't tired by the playoffs and it gives them enough leeway and about enough energy to continue playing at a top level, especially in the playoffs, which is a very big thing that we know going into a deeper run in the playoffs. And it will, you know, make a whole process, a lot of steps to make a trade with Nichas happen again. However, I'm almost guaranteed that they will circle back. The Carolina Hurricanes need a goal. Linus Allmark, currently on the final year of his deal, going into next season at $5 million. That's a very, very good contract for a goalie who you can get at the level of Linus Allmark, especially that the situation the Carolina Hurricanes are in, where they're going to lose a lot of their players this offseason due to the contract uh, situation that they have. And Allmark at that, maybe even if they try to retain some, for, or get Boston to retain 50% if possible, maybe get Allmark at 2.5, that would really suit the Hurricanes' needs, and Nietzsche certainly suits the Bruins' needs. And that, that's what I'm trying to get at when we're saying that it's too good to be true. You know, it fits for both themes, as I mentioned in the last video we spoke about Nietzsche. But now we have some backbone behind it, you know, regarding what we had seen from Elliot Friedman here. And... This is not saying that it would be Allmark for Nietzsche. There could definitely be some more pieces in there and whatnot. However, I do like this deal for both sides. Allmark, you hate to see him go if it is time for him to go. Really, I think Don Sweeney's going to have a lot to think about regarding the old goaltending situation. And as he said, with the contracts, you don't want to have two goalies, although they may be star goalies, making 11 to 14 million when you're trying to bolster your offense, help out the defense. And just add some depth pieces and whatnot. You need to round out this team more than it has been already. You need some more forwards. You need some more defensemen. And I, it's really not a great point that you spend $14 million on goaltending at this very moment. And I didn't even pull this one up or I mentioned it, but Brandon Bussey as well. Going to be needing a new contract. We know that's not going to be too much. Likely a two-way. But depends on what happens at Allmark. So... There's a lot of stuff that's going to have to go down here regarding the goaltending situation, a potential Nichas trade, which I would be a really big fan of. I like him a lot. Big player, uses his body well, good offense, lots of experience, as you see from the, uh, the many, many years with the Carolina Hurricanes. At being only 25 years old, I think that this, is, this, this will be something to keep a close eye on, and we're going to see a lot more from this in my uh, prediction, I guess, in my assumption that... This is going to be just the start of uh, the Nietzsche's rumors, the Allmark rumors and stuff, but we have a lot of stuff planned. I have a lot of uh, a lot of reports to cover this weekend, so make sure to hit the sub button if you do not want to miss out on any of these. I will be doing a live stream soon. Don't have a set date yet, but I want to get you guys in the conversation, get some more uh, circulation regarding what could happen, who might you want, who you want to get rid of and whatnot, and uh, we'll go from there. But keep, keep an eye on a live stream that will be coming soon. Uh, but yeah, like I said, that's all I got here in this video. If you did enjoy, hit the sub button. Give it a like if you did enjoy as well. But I'm signing out. Thank you for watching. Hope you have a great day. See you later.